Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, yeah, we're gonna tie these um, small CDC shrimps. Um, the fly is called Fnugge. <laughs> it's, uh, Fnugge translates to a snowflake, you know, it's, it's just a small, small CDC shrimp. Um, this is a size eight and um, they are very easy to tie and you don't have to, you know, you don't need a, a lot of different materials. It's very, very simple fly. And uh, as always, I'm gonna put up a link in the description to, um, if you want to drop the intro, I'm making an intro now. If you want to drop it, just press the link down below. It's, it's all the way on the top in the description. So you can skip the intro, okay? Yeah. So uh, this time I'm actually just gonna tie, I'm gonna uh, tie the pink one because the orange and the white one, the, ex exactly the same pattern. Uh, they, there's, they tie the similar way, okay? So uh, for this fly, I'm gonna, actually gonna use uh, a Tiemco hook uh, 811S in a size eight. But I, oh, um, these days I'm actually trying out for me a new, a new hook for me. Yeah, and it's from, as you can see down here, it's from uh, owner. It's called Aki Light, and as you can see, this is a small size. It's a small size six, and compared to the size eight, you can see the hook, this hook is a little bit bigger. So, uh, uh, this is a size six, as a, uh, but it's you know it's it's not too big. They don't they don't they they are almost alike. So, I, I'm I'm checking out this uh, hook. Uh, I've actually caught several fish on it. <laughs> and the hook works so great. Uh, I love it because of the the keel on the hook is is even bigger, and the gap is just yeah. This is insane. This hook and 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 also it's uh, it's so uh, pointy, you know. Yeah. So that's the new hook. I've tied it on. There, there's the pink one, and I also tied a orange one. As you can see, I've used the Easy shrimp eyes in a brown color, a mahogany. Yeah, they're fluorescent. Quite cool. Yep. Okay, for this fly, uh, for the pink one, I'm using Ice Dub Fluo Pink. It's the most pink dubbing I have, and it's also uh, UV in this one. So that's the, that's the dubbing for the pink one. And uh, I'm using CDC Feathers. Uh, I buy all my CDC feathers from uh, my sponsor, Nordisk Fiskustyr. This is a Norwegian company. And the quality of the feathers are, yeah, there I can't find any better quality anywhere. They, they are large and if you buy a pack, you all the feathers are amazing quality. So for these flies, I actually don't uh, use fluorescent CDC. I, 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 you know, the dubbing is fluorescent and I use uh, pink CDC in my, um, uh, you know, in my pink ladies, and 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 even there I don't use fluorescent CDC because I don't think the fly needs it. Uh, so that's why I don't have one pack of you know fluorescent CDC and one pack uh, without. So I'm using just pink CDC for the pink one, and we are using teal feathers. And uh, when you get teal duck flank feathers. They look like this from Vanyard. Uh, it's it's uh, you know in this pack there are several feathers that I don't I don't use. So I always you know take my time and I and I I pick out the feathers I want to use for the for this fly. So they are prepared in one bag. So we use that in in uh, in every color. And if you want. You can uh, you can put in two strands of crystal flash. Uh, I do that on the white one and the pink one, uh, and you can also do it on the or orange one if you want. You, you decide. Okay, and then we are using shrimp eyes that I make myself. Um, I don't know if I've, you have seen it, but uh, seen this, but I use regular mono thread. I, I tried different types of mono thread, but this from uh, from from Rio products, this Powerflex, and it's uh, 0.53 millimeters 
quite thick. This melts perfect. Uh, and I just, I can, I can show you. I think I think I will show you uh, the shrimp eyes when you come to that point. We're gonna tie in the shrimp eyes. I just use a permanent marker, and I burn it. That's it. It's it's so simple to tie uh, to, to to make. <laughs> okay, and as always, all the materials for these flies is in the description. Just go down there. You can check out uh, the material list I use for every color, which dubbing I'm using. And there's a link to my to my sponsor and to my Patreon page if you want to go, become a Patreon. And uh, yeah, okay. Should we start the fly? I think so. So here you can see the flies. This is the white one. Very very light, uh, lightly dressed. They're supposed to be small, small small shrimps. Okay. This is the white one, and the orange one. As you can see, very very simple fly. And we have the pink one. This is the one we're gonna tie, okay? So we're gonna put in a put in a hook. And I'm gonna use uh, um, the thread I'm using is is from Semperfly. It's the wax thread, the six o. So we're gonna start in the middle of the hook. Like that I'm gonna snip off the thread. I'm gonna go back to where the bend of the hook, the thread should be aligned with the barb, start of the barb. I'm gonna tie in a teal feather. And at this point, uh, I tie in a whole feather like this. I just pull out all of the fluffy parts, you know, and I'm just gonna tie in with a, with a, with a shiny top up like that couple of loose turns and I'm just gonna pull it up not straight out pull pull it up like that and the tail is supposed to be the same same length as the whole shrimp as the whole hook I'm sorry yeah as the whole hook and I'm gonna go down 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 like that just your just a millimeter or two down the bend it's very important and go up again and the hook should be aligned with the barb and snip off the exit. Yeah. Tighten down the butts. Go back again. And now if you want, if you want, you can you can pull out the tip of the of the hackle. Usually I just leave it in, but uh, you can do that for the video. So, like that. Perfect. That's perfect. And we're gonna tie in the CDC feather. And usually for these flies, I, I like to use the smaller feathers like this one. This is a smaller one. And not a small one, but they are a little bit shorter. And in this bag there are some 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 that are a little bit bigger. They I, I use those for the pink lady and I use the smaller ones for, for Fnugge. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pinch out the fibers. You can hack you, you can hackle it on, but I find it easier just to pinch the tips. Like that, and and pull it off. Like that, and hold it. Don't let go. Go directly down. Pinch the hook, and 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 spin your thread to the right. The thread will go over. Couple of turns. Pull a little bit. Take your thumb and just divide the fibers on both sides. Like that. You can also use your nail and tighten up. Go forwards and back again. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to take the other side with my left hand, just pinch the tips like that, pull them off. And I'm going to turn my fly, spin the thread to the right. And I'm going to just going to take a slack turn. Did you see that? And I'm going to make sure the feathers are all the way around. Like that. I'm gonna go forwards, back again, and I make sure the thread is all the way down to the tying point. It is there. Perfecto mundo. <laughs> and go back up again to the barb. Like that. Perfect. And then at this point, you can choose if you want to tie in some crystal flash. I have some crystal flash. 
and I used the, the, the crystal flash in the UV pearl. I'm gonna take a whole fiber and I'm gonna snip it in two. That's enough for two flies. Double it, tie it in on the top, take one strand and pull it towards you to the near side. And before you reach all the way down, grab a hold of the one that's on the far side and go back there and tie it in on the side. And go back up again. And I'm gonna, these are going to be short. These are going to be shorter than the CDC fibers. I don't want them too long. Like that. That's enough. That's perfect. Okay. Almost the same length as, uh, as the, the teal. Now we're going to tie in the dubbing, uh, a small dubbing ball. These are, uh, the, this dubbing ball is going to support the shrimp eyes. And here you go, There's the, here's the dubbing. Pinch out a small, small, small uh, bunch of fibers. Don't, it's, I say this all the time. I mean, you need to make a small, thin I mean a thin dubbing noodle because we are not going to have any shell back or ribbing over this so to make sure this uh, this fly is durable it's important to have a thin dubbing noodle and take your finger and comb the dubbing for each time you go over and you come to this point pull it and twist go up pull it and twist this is going to lock down the dubbing make a nice Dubbing ball. Pull it. Like that. And now the thread needs to be aligned with the hook point. Because if, you, if you're all, all the way over here, the proportions won't be right. And now we're going to actually make the shrimp eyes. And as you can see here, I have the, the mono fishing line and I just used a permanent marker a black one and this field is low, it's about one centimeters I've just uh, painted it and I'm going to use a lighter and when you do this it's important I'm going to try not to <laughs> to set my fly on fire <laughs> and start it up and you have to uh, get the heat from underneath here not in the flames but from the blue part and don't stick it in, just hold it outside when it starts to melt. And I'm going to melt the color in to the fishing line. And I'm going to blow on it when it comes to the clear part, like that. And I'm going to straighten it up. Can you see? Straighten it up. I'm not trying not to catch my fly on fire. Like that. And these are perfect shrimp eyes. I mean, they work uh, to size 10, 8 and size 6. If I'm tying size 4, I usually use the easy shrimp eyes. Okay? Take the other one. See if you can do this one more time without setting a fly on fire. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Melt, melt. Don't stick it in the flame. Just keep it warm. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pull it out. Blow. Make sure you don't touch this melting mono. You're gonna burn your finger, straighten it up a little bit, and you're done. That's it. And these are perfect. It takes, I mean, it just takes seconds, and you get perfect shrimp eyes. And I have this rule: uh, when I make shrimp eyes, I always make ten. If I need shrimp eyes, I make ten, and I also I always have shrimp eyes available. Okay, yeah. So let's tie in these shrimp eyes. I'm going to put one in, in the back. I like to tie this one in first. And it's going to be the same length as the whole hook. Don't stick them out too far. Just fasten them like that on the side. Oh, that's perfect. I don't use my scissors for this. I'm going to snip them off with my pliers. And make sure you snip them off 3 millimeters from the hook eye. This is going to help the tapered taper body. And put on some eyes, tie in some eyes on this side, on the side. 
make sure they are the same length. That's perfect. Go back, pull them down. Now force your thread back so it's aligned with the hook point. Make sure you have the thread aligned with the hook point. Then your shrimp will be perfect. Snip off. Tie in like that. And I'm going to stop there because now we're going to dub from this point back and forwards again. That means that the thread will go tung 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 you're gonna make a strong body. Are you ready? Pull out some dubbing. You see how little dubbing I have? It's very important. Very very important. And a thin 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 dubbing noodle. And if you're struggling with the the anchor point you can take a turn and then dub. And now I'm actually gonna not gonna use my finger like that. I'm gonna pull the dubbing for each time. Tighten it down. Tighten it down. Go back there. Make a tapered, a little bit thicker. And I can see I need a little bit more dubbing. It's just a little bit. It's like five strands or something. Go there and back again. Now I'm gonna use my finger. I need a little bit more. Just a little bit more, like that. This is going to be a small, small shrimp, and you need. And then you need to put on just a little amount of, of, of materials because uh, if you take put on too much, you're not going to tie a small shrimp. <laughs> Make sure you finish off with a couple of turns, like that. Deep finish. Nope. Like that, I'm gonna position my eyes a little bit further out and down. Like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we're gonna brush it. On the top. Just a little bit to pull out some of the fibers from the from the eye stub. And that's it. And then we're gonna use our lighter again. Don't you don't do this if you're not comfortable with flames, okay? <laughs> because now I want to make a nice, nice tapered body. I'm just gonna pull back, lighter, take the heat, and hold it. Did you see what happened? The 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 flame, uh, the heat melts the plastic and the dubbing. I'm just gonna and very fast and hold it. You transfer the heat over to the dubbing, and you actually shape it. So it becomes just perfect. And that's it. I mean, this is so, so simple. I'm just gonna finish off with some varnish. I always like to varnish my flies. I think this fly would work for, you know, I use it for sea trout, but I mean, why not? You could use, try it for trout or perhaps steelhead, you know? Yeah, steelhead fly, a winter fly. So that's a small, simple CDC shrimp for you guys. And uh, as always, I've put a link to uh, my sponsor, Nudis Fiskustyr. And um, there's a full material list over the flies. Just click on the description and we'll find all the flies, which dubbing I'm using, which hook. I can put in the, the owner Light. I can put in the, in the material list. And uh, if you wanna check out my website, I have a Norwegian website can check that out here and my patreon page if you want to become a patreon supporter and yeah i'll see you in the next one okay cheers